So, let me very much thank you for the opportunity to be here and to come with our, you know, guest speaker and the very special one whom I'm about to introduce. Mr. President, James Cathy, Reverend, our Senator General, the new will come later, I know it's in the program sheet, but it will come from my mouth. Um, Dr. Jipre, Johnson Jipre, a very special, I should say, advisor to the uh, Standard Bearer of the um, Librarian People's Party. By the way, Dr. Jipre is Assistant Professor of Forestry at the University of Liberia. So if any of you finish school, our young people at this level now know one day you reach LU, that will be one of the first things they'll be studying first with our teaching. Having said that, our speaker this afternoon um, is a well-known person. He's a person that doesn't walk around. You saw he entered here. Uh, people have to say, oh, the guest speaker is here. If there are other people because they are boastful, their chairs will be up like this. There will be syringes all over this place. But he's a very, you know, like grandma say, simple. It doesn't mean he's simple. Very special in our lives and the life of this country. He was born in Neba, a town called Blaise of Pierre, in District No. 9. Started school, then moved to, you know, Tapeta, San Ikwele, graduated, came to the University of Liberia, studied economics, studied law, went to Columbus University in the U.S., studied human rights law. No, sorry, human rights advocacy. And he's been by ever since and defending, defending poor people, me and you. There are countless number of people that our speaker stood instead of when they were not able to even pay for their own legal fees. If I want, he's noted for, now he's in politics, but what he was noted for is, you will just see the case in the newspaper, you don't call him and say, he will go find that case. Once he found out that you were an ordinary person, poor person, he will go after that case until you win. With how far rate that you pay him. So he's been doing this for years. There are things that our constitution calls for that any government, not only we are alone, Madam Selim Pai, uh, Taylor Pai, Samuel Doe Pai, Joseph Jenkins Ronald Pai, that they should have been doing to benefit all of us so we enjoy this great country. Let me say to you, all of us in this room, we have a very, very beautiful country. Big, beautiful. If, if any way to, to define beautiful, it's the first beautiful nation on the face of this earth. Take it from me. So, he's been in that work. Councillor is now in politics. Our speaker is now in politics and is running on the Liberian People's Party ticket. And when he's president, because we know he's going to win, you will vote for him. I will vote for him. As president, he has some things he, want, he will want to do for this country. People say change, but he say transform. And the word transform means, if, you know, sorry, sorry for this, if this building needs another facelift. You will not see it like this and pour another thing on top of it. You will totally break it down and start something with a great foundation. So the system of our country is finished and rotting. So he's going to transform it. He has, he has a plan. In that in that same respect, corruption, stealing, cheating, Whether for you, everything, everything that belongs to everybody. One small group of people that can't even fit in my small hand here, they eat all. They look that fat and look good. 
That's why it's happening. So he also has a plan to deal with that situation and deal with the people that are involved. Without talking much, may I name my husband, I want our standard by right now, guest speaker this afternoon, a person of Councillor Tia Wan's name from the Society when the people are coming from the Sunday and they borrow. That's a new Sunday of borrow here. Mm. And so I'm happy that I'm part of it. First, I want to tell the parents thank you for the time you took. First, the decision you made to send the children to school because times are hard these days to get money, to even get food to eat. Most of the same children to school is a big, very big sacrifice. I want to tell the parents, thank you for that. Thank you. I want to tell the teachers of the school and the school administration, very, you know, thank you very much for what you've done for the students. If you are not taking your time to teach them, they will not reach this far. So I'm going to tell you thank you for that. And you students, graduates, please stand up. When you speak to graduate, they can stand up. I want to tell you thank you for listening to your parents agreed to get up in your bed in the morning something that was hard to wake up in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. And to take bath and to come to school. I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for listening to your teachers. Studying. If you are not studying your lesson, you will not read this far. Thank you for listening to the teachers. Thank you for listening to the instruction of your parents. Thank you very much. You may have your so today, on graduation day, speakers say something that the graduates will remember in their whole lifetime. So today, I want to tell you about the importance of learning. Now, go to school is the most important thing in anybody's life. When you go to school, you learn something that you live by for your lifetime. Right now, you depend on my part. But when you go to school, you learn to be a mechanic. Some of you will learn to be a nurses. Some will learn to be doctors. Some of you will learn to be electrician, you will learn different, different things. But well, first, you have to learn ABC. That's the one you feel in learning. After that, now, when you go up, some of you might decide to become lawyer one day. I'm a lawyer. One of the big lawyers in this country. I'll be president of all the lawyers. Cases, they both put in jail, I go defend them and take them from jail. When somebody credit somebody, they don't want to pay the money, I can't go and collect the money. I want the lawyers to do. Plenty of things will put them in trouble. You are learning cases, lawyer talking. Maybe one of you will become a lawyer one day. Because you will say, 
I'm on graduation, you know, got graduation. One big player in the country came and spoke. Hey, y'all remember? So I want to tell you about Lenny. Lenny is good. I want to you. But the most important thing in life, one of the things about that you must learn is in the Bible. Are you read about the, the Ten Commandments? Are your children can tell you? They get one commandment there. They call it Eighth Commandment. Commandment number eight. It says, Thou shalt not steal. Let's talk about that shall not steal today. That is stealing business that made the country suffering. Everybody suffering. Hmm? That shall not steal. Lying and stealing go together. Hey, you know that? Lying and stealing go together. So, when you steal, then they lie. One example I'll give. One, I was in Buffalo County. Then I told the poor one, become president, I'll bring everybody to there to read and write. So you can read your own text messages. I said, because you can't read text messages, if I send you text message, and I send you money, you take it and go and show it to one little boy who can read and write, maybe you go and take your money. What was the last thing happened to me? My own daughter, somebody sent me 15,000. She said, oh man, they sent you 5,000. She took the 10,000. <laughs> So you see her stealing and lying and put together. Yeah. She stole from the woman, then she lied to the woman. Yeah. So after some time, the person who gave the money will come to visit their town. Say, my father, I come in there. Oh. By the time the woman will come in there, she said, man, I won't confess. Yeah. The last time, the last, the last, the last Fifteen thousand. The last five thousand. They say that fifteen thousand. But I took ten thousand. So I pay me when the woman can cover me. Because my mama comes to say to the woman, "Thank you for the five thousand you sent to me." <laughs> so she confessed. So in learning, so people can learn both the no, both the no, both the no, all the truth. But they can lie, they can steal. Yes. Now, I don't let anybody not go for the country. No way. No way. They can carry the country backwards. No way. You're here? When you learn, you're mechanic, you're doctor, you're lawyer. Don't lie, don't steal. You hear me? They will have glory, I will say, our commencement speaker came and say, you will not lie, you will not steal. And you must set it down. The best way to teach is by example. The way, so far your part, and I'm going to teach you, your principal school director, $500. They are paying for a long time. You come to my house, I say, come to my Sunday after, sorry, come to your class. Then I tell you, when anybody can here, you tell the president, not you. <laughs> then everybody will have devotion, I can tell you, that should not lie, that should not lie, lie in fact. <laughs> then your school director comes, stands to my door, call me, your part of, cook him in your part of, say that, say all the things. I insert that, get him also. The next day, we'll go to the push and tell you, children, it's not good to lie, you all will believe me? No way. You all will believe me? No. No, no right? You all will not believe me. So, Today, I want to tell you, you have money, your parents send you for you to go to school. The time your teacher teaches you to teach you, the one thing I want you to remember today is that when you learn book, and not go to steal, and not go to go. Now you hear me? Those two things can't be good. They can make your book from nothing. Your book, God has respect for you. You that they learn book from nothing. You can steal, you can laugh. You get trusting. Mm -hmm. And so, so you will learn not to lie and not to steal, right? That is what I want you to know what you do. When you're born, you're dead, your parents. Say, what did what the speaker said today? He told us, I don't care how we learn, how clever we are. We will not steal, 
Well, not mine. Yeah? Thank you very much. I know that I'm on the national scene because of the lying and stealing. Everybody's catching him. Everybody's catching him. Even the co owner La Sepe in the market. Even the co owner people are getting out of the market. And one person get a bar code in this town. Two or three persons get to the bar code for any bar code for La At the end of the day, the poor they can't buy the market so then they can't pay the co Go for we will get it out of market. Mm. We'll get to the point where Kobo women are getting out of market, then it's tough. Mm -hmm. Every day you go to the market, but long of it near Magnum Street. The, when the sellers are there, you can't ask them, what couple are here? They say, ah, they're not easy. Mm -hmm. She had a micro. No, nobody found This time there are four sellers. On the street, Magnus Street, Ashmore Street, there's a buyer. Yes. And because I talk with them, I know the hard time in this country. Mm. The market, the sellers in the street tell me, Councillor, when we come in the morning, the first item they buy for you, that the buy from you that I need to, you can buy a coupon. Mm -hmm. But they're not buying our first item now. And then we're hungry, so we take the coupon by Sepay. Said normally, three, four, five years ago, when you come, when they buy the first item, you buy a coat. The second item, you put it in the tennis suit. The third item, that for you to pay your way to go home. The fourth item, that will come by tomorrow. If you're lucky to buy the fifth item, that the one you put it inside, you put it back in the business. And I am. So I understand. I want to be president of the country, so I'm trying to understand everything that is wrong with the country. Now they tell you, oh, the other person that they're not to do it. Nobody buy a game council to get a couple of money hard. So even the couple sell, the other day on back to the couple of us that you got a couple now, it used to be 50 dollars, they went to 75 and they went to 100, 150. Right now, now, now. Good couple that you can get one fifty at four hundred dollars yes. on Mega Street. Yes, yes. four hundred dollars. That one two person can get a job for, but I think you four person can join together to do that one. Wow, yes. That how bad the country has come because of leadership. The country is not poor, no. but in election day we can choose property. We see all the Google poor, they will go vote for the poor, who can give all the back of rights, or only on voting day, or after that they can't give so again. Mm -hmm. so they gave up back of rights on voting day, they gave us some money, and then they gave sometimes they give the cup. They will vote. Then six years will suffer. God gave us a rich country. Liberia is naturally rich. We are poor by choice. Yes. We got the country that is fertile right now. The plum, the oranges around your houses, you have to plant it, then you throw the sea and sacrifice it. In the better country, you can't have it. Purple. The purple around your house, you didn't plant it. You can't get purple the sea group by yourself. Fertile soil. God gave us a fertile soil. In some countries that are desert, sand, so that you can't bring whole year. Here, it can bring almost everything. Anytime you play anything, any time of the year, it can grow. <laughs> so we have a poor country. Then all of the soil that is rich like that, like fresh up, God put down on there. Then God put go under there. God put iron on there. God put bauxite there. Uranium. Over 13 mineral resources, they honor them. So when we say, what person like Brad is poor, the other person is what for you they see you out there, we get one step, but we're not suffering. Mm -hmm. Then how can you suffer? Mm -hmm. We are suffering because of poor leadership. Mm -hmm. On election day, we will tie our stomach and let people who know the job, who care for the country, who can lie and steal. 
or check their track record. The president will be lying and stealing all his life because the old people when he's the president, they'll be the president with teams. That would be a big mistake. So, now my advice to you, I talk to the children about that, that they were nasty and lie because they grew up. But we adults, we know among ourselves who can lie and who can steal. We will not give authority to anybody yeah. who can lie and steal. They've been lying and stealing before. When they bring their back of rights to you that they got by stealing, when you take it, then you encourage your stealing. Then you pay for the hardship that will come tomorrow. You understand me? Because when you finish the right by the time you visit the, the body aisle, when you come by, you finish. Then what else? And all some people in this country, until we stop it. In Ghana, some years ago, one man was running from office to be member of parliament in Brown, Trump Lord of Rice. He said, My people, you have rice here, or you have food for me. One young man he said, The office you want for the food for you, tell us what you're doing now, the first for us. When you take that office, you just can't tell you have bread of rice, you don't take the bread The boy said, eh? Well, you know, y'all, y'all just eat the rice and put on the man said, that put the man rice back on the truck. The young man said, that put all the rice back on the pig and said, carry your rice because you will tell us. We are hungry for you, but you learn to be in the law making out for us. Tell us what the function of that office and what you're going to do that will be different from the person who occupied the now. So that we can decide. But you can give one right and say, you have rights when you're taking it, you're doing it. And you let your day, you're taking it. Like real people. We must learn to do that. We must learn to do that. And my advice to you, you're going to encourage lying and stealing by voting for liars and people who can steal. You hear me? Government is a place to serve, not to steal. Can you repeat it after me today, everybody? Yes. Government is a place to serve, not to steal. Again? Government is a place to serve, not to steal. Again? Government is a place to serve, not to steal. The last one. Government is a place to serve, not to steal. Thank you very much. Let's take it. The last word that will meet in your ears for the food today is this, that government is a place to serve, not to steal. Thank you very much.